Hey, it's May 13th and it's Friday. So it's time for your weekly e-blast. So I hope you guys are doing well. A uh, lot of stuff going around you know, sickness wise. Uh, I caught a bug kind of hammer me up Monday to Thursday and I'm thinking my solid recovery uh, just in time to go down to lunch in the park tomorrow. So lunch in the park tomorrow. Uh, this We get down there, I get down there around two o'clock. I think we're gonna have good weather tomorrow. Um, just to take a look. Yeah, it looks really nice weather tomorrow. So if you wanna come down and just participate, you can just come down and hang out. You really don't have to do anything, but you kind of see what goes on at lunch in the park. So I'm gonna be down there, you know, shoot down, get, get, get down there a quarter or two. And um, we hang out, we talk to people, and then we have like a little service. And after the service, you know, we hand out the lunches. If you've never been, I think you might want to come. You can bring kids too, because uh, right behind us is the merry-go-round. And you know, so like it'll, it'll probably be a wonderful day down in the park tomorrow. See lots of people. So it's really kind of a nice thing. So don't let it be a mystery. Come down, check it out. If you want to, you can even stealth it. Just park in the area, and you can walk by on the path, and uh, you know, just kind of see what's going on. So we're right down there uh, at where the where the pond almost touches where the merry-go-round is in Brooklyn Park. So that's tomorrow at 145. We have both of our services on uh, Sunday coming up, 8 and 945. I kind of wish we could go back and get an outdoor service in because that was really nice uh, when we did that. Can you believe that? Terrible stuff during COVID. And we still enjoy and worship outdoors. But we have 8 and 945. One thing I want to want you to think about <clears throat> is in addition to COVID really kind of splashing around, and thank the Lord that the vaccines have made it such that, uh, you know, even if you get it, you know, the, it, the, the risk for hospitalization for most people, if you've been vaccinated, is very small. Uh, but nobody likes to get sick at all, right? Uh, and I want you to remember a couple of things. One, we have a baptism coming up, and there's going to be a bunch of really young kids there. Two different families, you probably don't haven't met them yet, uh, babies and kids under five. You know, kids under five are not getting vaccinated. And so one of the things I want you to think about is, uh, is using your mask during our worship services. Why would you do that? We've, we, we've just come to this terrible time where we had to wear them. I want you to think about wearing them this time, particularly on that baptism day, as just showing your support to that family. Uh, so, you know, just as, and, and to support to one another. Uh, so if you don't get COVID, <clears throat> you could get that you know, four day flu like I got, you know? So, so think about, I mean, nobody loves wearing a mask, but you might wear a mask just to support other people who can't get vaccinated, who have immune issues, uh, just a sign of support. So I just tossed that out there. <clears throat> okay, other things coming up. <clears throat> I think I told you about this before, but Memorial Day, you know, we've always had this wonderful, very sure, it's about an hour uh, where we meet down here in Tariffville, uh, and we walk up right by the church. And then we head over to the cemetery. There's a little quick service, <clears throat> and then people cut down. The story here is, <clears throat> since I've been here, is Lavalley Incorporated has uh, put on, you know, like a uh, uh, <clears throat> bounce house and hot dogs and things. We'd like to make that more intentional as a way of just welcoming and meeting our neighbors. Now, these are our vicinity of the church neighbors. So we're gonna have an organized plan here for Towerville. But one thing, here's what I want you to think about is if you live in Granby, how might we do like a, let's do this event to meet our neighbors around the Granby Memorial Day Parade? Or <clears throat> if you go to the Simsbury Parade, which is a much bigger deal, you might wanna think about, hey, you know, I've got some, a bunch of friends who go to that. We could also have, ways that we do kind of like intentional meetings, like we bring food, we, we kind of connect with people just to meet our, meet our neighbors there. The reason we always do it here is people are walking right by the church. I mean, it's like, it's actually happening right at the church. But as everybody reminds me, not everybody lives in Tariffville. So East Granby, Granby, Avon. I mean, we have a lot of places where you guys live, wherever you are, your church family can be. We just need an idea and a way to connect. And then uh, this next Wednesday night, as part of our uh, mission team, where we're kind of working on uh, what does it mean to be a disciple on a mission? 
so one of the things we're going to work on this week is just uh, kind of a deeper awareness of God. And then we're going to talk about ways that we can actually meet people intentionally uh, at these parade events. I'm not saying you have to be super extrovert, glad hit everybody, and then you meet somebody and you're trying to get them to do something. It's just to meet our neighbors. We've done this enough over the last two, three years that neighbor, we're starting to know people who don't go to our church, but they, they're getting to know us. And you know, it's all about relationships and how God calls us to serve in relationships. It's not always about church attendance. It's always about relationships. So anyway, I need you to come out uh, for Memorial Day. I need you to come here uh, for that Memorial Day parade and just to help us you know, set the stuff up. It doesn't take too long and just to meet neighbors and just to be here, you know, just to connect with people. So that's coming up on Memorial Day. Now, here's a coming thing, which I'm not gonna tell you all the story on, but we're gonna do something really big in June that's different. Our church, everything has changed since COVID. So many things have changed. Every church that was already dealing with stuff pre-COVID, man, that just accelerated the, the, the rate of change. And, and as we're coming out of it, it's like every church I know of is going through, who are we now? I think that's a great thing because that's the way God gets us to connect, reconnect uh, with the mission. And so uh, what does it mean to be a Christian? Or what does it mean to be an Episcopalian? And what does it mean to be a member at Trinity Church? Those are three one-hour classes that will now be a part of uh, joining Trinity Church. Now, in June, we're going to have an opportunity that's on Sunday mornings for everybody to participate in that. You say, why do you know these answers? Well, maybe you do, maybe you don't. Maybe you don't know how we're defining that in terms of right now today. Well, I've been Episcopalian all my life. Well, we'll come and let's, you can share and help us understand things. The last, what, is, what does it mean to be an Episcopalian class we had? <clears throat> we had 23 people. And since then, we've had 10 people say, I, didn't, I couldn't come, can we do it again? And then what does it be a member? What does it mean to be a member? There was a day when being a member of a church meant you came most Sundays, you probably signed a pledge card, you volunteered once or twice. That was a member. That's not a member anymore in the way that God has reworked church in this world. So being a member has, has changed. So in June, we're going to have opportunities for you to think about this and to participate, to come together as a community, see some people you haven't seen, to connect, and for us to all get on the same page of, kind of a trial run of those three things. What does it mean to be a Christian in uh, Farmington Valley in 2022? What does it mean to be an Episcopalian in the same place? And what does it mean to be a member at our church? What does that mean? And so these are all things we'll be doing coming up in the month of June. So we have a bunch of other stuff coming up. I'm gonna let it go for now. So uh, pray for one another. Uh, here's today's question, which I'd like you to think about before Sunday. Jesus said in the gospel coming up this Sunday, I leave you this commit, this, I leave you a new commandment. He's, he accents new commandment. The commandment is love one another as I have loved you. Now, the question that should come to your mind is, what's so new about that? Uh, in, in the law, you know, love the Lord with all your heart, soul, and, and your neighbor as yourself. So what's the difference between what we used to know or uh, think of in terms of loving our neighbor and what does it mean to love one another as Jesus loved us? So I want you to think about that question as we get ready for Sunday. Okay. All right. So if you're feeling good, man, you should get out, get on a bike, take a hike, you know, uh, great. I mean, the, the greatest thing of I've recreational thing I've done since I've been here is man, I, I pretty much out every Monday uh, doing a hike somewhere. It's like, this is a beautiful time of year. To get out and do some hikes. So get out there, pray for folks who are sick, uh, continue to, to seek God and put some pressure on them about this Ukraine thing and to pray for the healing of our country and, uh, and to make sure you keep thinking, Lord, how can I love my, my friends here at church? How do we learn how to love one another as Jesus loved us? Okay, good enough. So I will uh, see you this weekend, hopefully. Lord willing, and uh, God bless you and have a great rest of your weekend.